Hey Posh Fam, this is Elizabeth of ERW Plans on Insta, ERW underscore plans on Etsy, erwplans.etsy.com and online erwplans.com. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to add some ribbons to your passion planner. The first thing we're gonna do is uh, take a look at our planner. This is the new um, daily planner that just got kickstarted this week. Um, but you can do this for your um, weekly as well. It doesn't matter which planner that you use. The important thing to note is when you're looking at it from the top down here, you'll see this little space between where the pages are bound and the cover itself. That's what we're gonna be using today. I've got two lengths of ribbon. Uh, these uh, I got from Two Hands Papery in Boulder. You can get them from wherever you wanna get, whatever craft store you wanna get ribbon from. I'm gonna be using some tweezers, scissors, and then we've got this E6000 um, adhesive that I really like to use because it's flexible so it won't get brittle and you won't have it cracking all over the place. I did also pull out some uh, liquid super glue. Uh, this is totally fine to use. You can also use a hot glue gun. Uh, whatever kind of adhesive that's permanent that you have, you're gonna wanna use. I like this one the best but it's up to you if you wanna use that super glue or if you wanna use a hot glue gun. I personally hate hot glue guns, but whatever works, as long as it's permanent, no Elmer's glue here, okay? So let's get started. I've got my cutting mat down because I'm going to use this to protect my table here. Um, the epoxy that I'm using will come up with 100% acetone. If you use 100% acetone to like remove your nail polish, that'll work for this as well. The thing I'm going to tell you though about that is uh, if you put it on wood like this, it's gonna pull your wood up as well. So, and this stuff is liquid. Um, if it's, I mean, it's a nice cool day here in Colorado, but if it's warm, like when it was when I was putting my ribbon in my 2020 planner, then you're gonna get this epoxy kind of everywhere, so. I'm just gonna start by putting a tiny little dab of it on the end of one of my two ribbons that I'm adding. Take my second ribbon, just kind of plop that right down on top. Squish it. Like so. Now I'm gonna take a little bit more, put a little dab of it going down the length on the outside here. I flip it over, do the same thing on this, probably about an inch or so of the ribbons I want to have completely covered with the epoxy. Okay, I'm pop the cap back on here so we don't make a mess. In a previous video, I talked about letting it uh, get a little bit tacky. Uh, that's very true if it's particularly warm not particularly warm, it'll stay fairly tacky right out of the bottle. Just a warning, it does stink. So you're gonna take your planner. You see this top part here where, like I said, the binding and the planner cover itself are separated. We're gonna take our two ribbons that we've smushed together first, and this is why we smush them together first, and then we're just gonna very gently slide that down the back there. Like so. And that's why we need tweezers because it's a very narrow little gap. I'm gonna push it together, just kind of hold it here for maybe about 30 seconds. Okay, after about 30 seconds, sorry. after about 30 seconds, that's given the adhesive enough time to adhere to both sides. I'm gonna open up my planner to where the green ribbon is, it's included. I'm gonna drag my ribbons down the length of my planner, like so. I'm gonna find where the end of the ribbon is for all three, just very gently pull it, because at this point it's tacky on the inside, but it's not, um, 
adhered completely yet. So if you pull too hard at this point, you're gonna pull your ribbons right back out and you're gonna be very sad. I'm gonna just pull them all the way down here to the edge and then cut across so that they're all nice and even. When you close it, it'll push that in. So then after closing, I'm gonna just wrap my elastic back around it, like so. And I'm gonna leave that at least five minutes to dry. As you can see, these are covered in the epoxy. So what you can do is you're just gonna take this, get a bottle of 100% acetone, soak those in there for maybe 30 seconds or so, pop them off and wipe it off. Kind of like you're trying to remove uh, dip nails or gel nails, something like that, okay? It might take a few applications, but that should pull that right off. And then you have extra ribbons in your fashion planner. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like, please make sure you like the video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe by clicking the button in the upper left hand corner of your screen. Uh, we go live every Wednesday at 7 a.m. Mountain Time and I hope to see you next week. Take care guys, have a good one.